Hello, these days I received a shipment from Alecro that consists of several components that I ordered a week ago. My shipment arrived unexpectedly quickly and is well packed and protected in a branded box. It consists of crow panel 2.8 inch HMI 320 on 240 display, SPF, SPI TFT LCD touchscreen compatible with Arduino, LVG library and ESP32 microcontroller on board with all necessary cables and touch pen. This uh, laser machined housing parts for ESP32 display. Then uh, waterproof temperature sensor. And BM BME 280 sensor board. The sensor contains the sensors contain appropriate cables that are compatible with the display board. Uh, so that when making a project there is no need for soldering and there is also no possibility of wrong connection. This is very important because even experienced do-it-yourselfers often make connection mistakes due to the carelessness or haste. When the board is turned on for the first time, a demo application appears on the display to demonstrate some of the capabilities of this small device. After assembling the case, the display look, looks tidy and is protected from damage. On Elecro side, Elecro's site you can find a lot of detailed information and tutorials about this display module using the LVGL library and Squareline Studio software, which drastical, drastically simplify the creation of the graphical environment without writing code. This time my idea was to explain to you how to use this module to create simple code yourself using the TFT ESPI library which is very often presented in do-it-yourself projects. I will only use Arduino ID to write code and upload it to the board. I will also explain how to control external components, specifically and LED and temperature sensor as the simplest examples. First, we need to enable display module in the Arduino environment. For this purpose, we go to the Arduino ID, File, Preferences, Additional Boards Manager URLs, and here we need to put given URL. I already paste this URL two times here. Now we go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager and search for ESP32 Boards. It is recommended to install version 2.0.3. I have already installed that version. Next, we need to install TFT ESPI library. And after that, uh, user setup.h 
in the TFT ESP library folder needs to be modified according to our screen uh, display module. For this purpose, we copy the user setup.h given here to the TFT ESPI library folder. Here is the TFT ESPI library folder. Replacing the original file. With this, the procedure for entering support for this specific display module in the Arduino ID is completed. Since the TFT ESPI library is customized for this display module, we can now successfully upload code from some previous project that use it. Of course, a huge advantage is that there is no need for any soldering, especially if we use electro sensors and modules, and the display together with the microcontroller is small, compact and housed in a nice case. First I will test the device with text examples that are provided in the library itself. For this purpose I go to examples, TFT SPA, resolution of our display and I choose TFT clock. Then select the appropriate port and click to upload code. So this is nice analog clock example. Now let's try another example, let's say some type of keypad. So this is next example, this example, this example use touch screen. As I mentioned it above in the text, next I will describe to you a simple example of how to control and let. For this purpose, on the two input-output pins IO25 and IO32 of the display, I will connect two colors from the RGB uh, LED module through 220 ohm current limiting resistors. To simplify, to simplify the code, we need to install the TFT e-widget library which contains ready-made buttons, gauges or graphs. Here is what the finished project looks like with the uploaded code which you, get, which you can download from the given link. Pressing the buttons turns the LEDs of the corresponding color, color on and off. Red LED on, red LED off, and green LED on, green LED off, or both LEDs on and off. Next I will present you another simple example where one of the of these ports 25 is used as an input and on, the, on it we can read the information generated by the DS188 uh, bit 20 temperature sensor. The display will show the current temperature in degrees Celsius.
You can you can also download the code for this project at the link given at the end of the project. Temperature value is updated every two seconds. And finally a short conclusion, this time I tried to explain to you first how to install this nice display module in Arduino IDE and then to make some simple projects using TFT ESPI library which is very often used for various projects with graphic environment. In some of my next videos I will show you how to install some more complex useful code on this small compact module.